Hey everyone, welcome back. So in the previous video, we have seen how we can execute uh, test cases in multiple browser. And we have discussed at the end about the issue also, not the issue exactly, but uh, a kind of code duplication we have because we have copy pasted a configuration file and we have the same configuration steps in all three different files. So in this video, let's discuss how we can optimize that configuration file. And then let's, we'll talk about one more issue where if your browser versions keep on updating and with that, the driver that you're using, whether it's a Chrome driver or Geekko driver, you need to keep on updating. Otherwise you'll get in uh, incompatible or, or kind of error you'll get where your browser version will not match with the driver that you have currently in the project. So we'll see what exactly is that and how we can resolve using Selenium standalone as a service. So let's get into code. So first things, let's try to optimize this configuration. Now you see, this is the configuration we have seen in the last video where we have everything is same except this capability where we have Chrome driver here and the service that you are using is a Chrome driver. And the rest, everything remains same. Whether it's at this also in this file as well, this capability changes and the services changes. Here it's a Geekko driver and rest remains same. And in the cross border also, we have two capabilities and two services and rest configurations are same. So what we can do, we can leverage one conf configuration file. So we'll take this as a base config. Let's leverage that and try to change only the part you need. Now, just to understand, uh, make you understand in a very simple way how we, we are, I'm just going to try to create one simple file. So I'll say test1.ts where let me say export const some data. So I have name is Shadav role tester. Now imagine this, I have an object here, just uh, object called some data or my data. Okay. And it has a name and role. Now there is another file, test2.ts. Here you have export const hmm. additional data. You have another object where you have another uh, details. For example, here I have a name, a role, and skills. And a skill I have is your driver are you type script or the JavaScript you can add or Java. So I have these two. Now this is, uh, I'm trying to explain because I have this kind of here configuration where I have the similar objects in the JavaScript object we have and then similar data we have. So now let's see with the simple file. If you see in the test one, name and role is there and test two also we have a name and role, but these two is common in first file also only this thing is changing. Now I want to utilize my first file or this data and on top of that, whatever I need to add, I want to add it here. So first things, let me try to print and show what data it looks like. Okay, so if I'll say console.log additional data, I'll print here. And in this console.log my data. Now we need to call this file just to print. So first I'll print test one in px. If you want to run any TypeScript file, and if you have TypeScript already installed in your package.json, then you can say npx hyphen npx space ts hyphen node and the file name if it is in some path you have to give the path complete path it in the root project folder so i'll give this so if i it is printing here name and role and if i call the second test two it will print me all these three because i have these three now here what i want to do i don't want to repeat the same thing from the test one what I, I'm going to import this file, my data, and then use it in this. So what we can do here, import my data and from test where? From test one. Now what you have to say, this my data, whatever data I have, there is something called spread operator in JavaScript or TypeScript. So this three dot denotes spread operator. It, it spreads all the data object available here. So in this particular object, we have a name and role. So it will object, it will add here. And 
additionally on top of that i'll add this skill so now if you see in the additional let i'm not repeating the previous name and role instead i'm utilizing it from here and then i'm adding in the existing one let's try to print the test 2 now and see what is the result and we should still get the same thing so we are still getting the same thing there's no difference right okay because it is getting printed here also i'll remove the console.log let me clear the console and if i print again you will see the same thing name role and the skill because name and role is coming from here and then skills are getting added what if i want to change the role here so instead of uh, tester i want to change in the second file so I, what i can say here simply same way role and uh, instead of uh, tester you can say manager now because this role is here matching already so this both key are matching only this value will be updated now if i print it again you will see here name is sadab which is from the previous file this file role is updated to manager and then skills whatever we have added here so with the spread operator we will be able to extract or, or copy the data from another file and then on top of that whatever you want you can execute it now we are going to use the same concept to optimize our this configuration file so let me now this delete these two we don't need these two files now here we'll take this as a base config and then here what first i'll just go to this uh, firefox config file and let me delete the data which is very duplicate from the base file so in the base file these all are duplicate only two things is changing you need to keep in mind so capabilities will change so i'll leave the capabilities the rest i'm just deleting it and the services so we need to keep services also the services i'll leave it rest everything i have i'm going to delete it only last curly bracket so we'll be left with only these data so because capabilities and service will change based on our configuration and same for this as well so let's delete these and services will keep and that's everything again we are going to delete it now so in these two we have like min minimum code only we don't we are not like duplicating the code but we need whichever configuration file you create in web driver io you need to have the complete setup that means these setups are required runner auto compilation spec data and all so what we will do now how we have used in test one and two we have imported the base similar here let's import so to say import config and then from this file so we are importing this particular config object if you see this is nothing but an object only so we are importing that config from this file now there is an error here because here the object name is config and here also the name is config because it is conflicting it is giving you error so if you want to import an object or any like page or anything and you want to rename it to something or assign alias name you can say as and you can give any alias name i'll say base config so it's simply like assigning this name as a giving alias name as a base config so that even though these are duplicate now this will be considered as a dot now what we can do again spread operator will say three dot base config comma so what it will do again it will inherit all the data all the properties or the like data that is defined here in this on top of that capabilities will be replaced because this is the common object and whatever and services will be replaced rest everything will remain same now the same thing we need to do for the cross browser file as well so let's do the cross browser file as well and we need to do a spread operator also we have to add here in the top so now with this change we have optimized this complete configuration we had a huge you know duplicate data complete configuration but we have optimized only with these few lines using the spread operator because it is spread object now let's try to execute and see whether our code is still working fine or not after this change so we have not done any change in the base config or the chrome so we'll just try to run in the firefox npm run test 
Firefox, and then we'll try to run in the cross browser. That means multiple. Now it's going to run all the test cases, so it's going to take time. It's running in all the six different instances. If you see, multiple test cases are being executed. But yeah, it is running all the tests in all six um, in Firefox. So it all looks good. And if you see, all the six test cases has been passed, right? In the Firefox. Now let's try to run in cross browser. I don't want to run all the tests. So I'll try to run only one example. Otherwise, it will take some time. Now let's run in the cross browser. So our command is cross browser. I have already explained in this previous video. We have package.json here and we have defined the cross browser what it should do. So now it should run these two test cases. It's running in Firefox and it's running in Chrome. So both places executed and passed also. If you see here, it executed in Firefox, it executed in Chrome. So the change that we have done here with the configuration optimization is completed and our code is not breaking. It is still working as expected. So with this small, uh, you know, a little understanding of JavaScript or types of concepts, we are able to optimize this much lengthy of code or other configurations. So how cool is that? It's just a base operator that you need to a spread operator that you can explore again if you want to know detail how it works. Right now this is done. Now there's another problem uh, that we, you might see. For example, now if currently if I'll show you, if I try to run this code, it's working fine. But as of now, Chrome driver version is 109. Now what happens after a few days or month, you may, up, you, you may get update on your Chrome driver or all other browser versions. And then when you run it, because 1.0 Chrome driver is compatible with version of 1.0.9 Chrome, if the Chrome version upgrades, this is going to fail. This is not going to work. Now, just to show you an example right now, I'm going to downgrade this version. For example, I'll make it 1.0.7. Just to replicate that error, what kind of error it comes and what you have to do to, you know, like fix it. So now I'm just going to replace this with 1.0.7 and run npm install command, which will update my Chrome driver with 1.0.7. One more thing I'm going to do in configuration file, I'll enable little more logs so that we get detailed log. So here as of now it's error, I'll keep it as debug. Now let me try to run one single test again. Now this time I'll run with a Chrome only. It will just blink, open the browser, it will close it again. So see it, it is blink, keep, keep on blinking. If you would have noticed, right, it was keep on trying to, you know, connect three times and then it failed. There is a failure here. And if you scroll up, there's a detailed log, but if you scroll up and read through the error, you'll find here something like this. Failed to create a session, session not created. This version of Chrome driver only supports Chrome version 107. That means it says whatever Chrome driver version you have currently is not supporting your current browser version. So because I have downgraded to 107 and my Chrome browser is in 109, it's not matching. And this issue will often come because your browser will keep on upgrading. So the solution is every time your browser upgrades, you have to every time go and update this Chrome driver as well. So you have to do like npm install and hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev and then Chrome driver at the rate latest. You have to say whenever you start getting this error, you have to run this command to update your driver, not just for Chrome driver. If you're getting issues for Gecko driver also, you have to update the same way. npm install hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev, then Gecko driver at the rate latest. Now what at the rate latest does, no matter what version you have defined here, you just download based on your current browser version. So I'll just click enter and it will download. So now if you see it has become 109 and if you try to run the test now, it will start executing. So now see, um, its browser is loading and it's trying to open the login page and the test is successful. So this will help you and this will solve your problem, but you have to keep on doing very often. So instead, we can find a mechanism or a way where what happens, you don't have to downgrade or upgrade your Chrome driver version. In what it should do is, Based on your current browser version, it's, it should require and uh, download required driver and automatically handle all this issue, uh, you know, rather than keep on updating every time. So there is something called here in, if you go to docs services, 
you have something called selenium standalone service okay and this service will help you if you if you are going to use this service this will help you to run uh, chrome in all the major browser without downloading gecko driver without downloading chrome driver or any other browser driver this will help you to execute it right we, you don't have to do anything else so now let's try to use this and remove other dependencies now i'm just going to copy this and try to install it so if you run this command copy this paste and then enter it will install chrome driver here you will see one record added here after installation is done yeah selenium standalone service has been updated now if you read through the document again you have to add a service called selenium standalone so now in three different configuration file in the first configuration file we have a chrome driver here you can update in firefox also you can update instead of gecko driver you can use a standalone and in crossbar also you don't need multiple you can use here also you can use selenium standalone that means now we don't require those uh, separate drivers selenium standalone does all the works for you you know in behind the scene everything is taken care so now because this configuration remains common across all three files i can even remove this configuration cell because that will be already in the base file so i'll remove it from here as well as well reason because in our base config that is this we already have the same services so we don't need to define anything all right now you you, you just define and then if you try to run this now you should be able to still execute it now if you notice i have not defined any services and even if you want you can uninstall this service chrome driver service and chrome driver you can uninstall chrome driver you can uninstall geeko driver and how you if you want to uninstall how you can do npm uninstall chrome driver and it will remove the record from here so it remove a uh, card has been removed similarly you can uninstall gecko driver as well so let me remove gecko driver as well gecko driver that also has been removed now after removing this let's see whether we are still able to execute our test or not so npm run test it should open in the chrome now you need to be a little mindful when you use selenium Stellar as a service your initialization of test will be little slow because it goes and check behind the scene what is your current browser version which you are trying to execute and if you don't have a driver in your system it will try to download on the fly and then execute and that is why it takes some time to initialize the test whereas if you have a chrome driver it will it will be a little faster but though it will solve the problem of updating manually every time so yeah see the test case has passed let's try to run cross browser and make sure both browser are working fine cross browser so execution of two worker started it is taking a bit of time but it'll try to download the driver and then it will run both the tests yeah so it's executing the test in the firefox and the chrome as well and if you notice now the test has passed so now even though i have uninstalled chrome driver and gecko driver uh, it is still executed our test without those drivers only with the help of selenium standalone and the benefit of that is you don't need different services and you don't have to uh, face the issue of your, your browser version is not matching with your chrome driver or the driver version because it takes care of that automatically behind the scene when you run your test so yeah that's all i wanted to show in this video thank you so much